For us at Portfolio BI, you know, we're obviously deeply involved in in the data management space and solutions to the asset management industry around that. But um, I, I mean, I'm interested to get your perspective today as to what you see as the key challenges when speaking to asset managers around data and data management generally. Absolutely. Um, in fact, I'm just about to pretty much reproduce um, a conversation that I had last week with a with an asset manager that invited us just to to sit and talk about key uh, main pain points or or common themes or challenges that we we see in in asset managers from a data perspective. So this is all based in in our first hand experience, right? When we have been allowed to to take a, a closer look, right, to how is the current data landscape within the asset managers, there's definitely some, I don't know, five, six common themes or, or pain points that we keep seeing them again and again and again. And I'm sure I will go through some of them with you. And I'm sure that I will see you straight away nodding your head saying, oh, yes, absolutely. Our clients also tell us this. So, so let me start. For example, if you think about it, and this is something that unfortunately even I have suffered it, suffered it in my own skin in a previous life. If you think about an organization, how many times we have seen that we've got different teams um, consuming and producing the same data. So it's not only about consuming the same data, but actually producing the same data. Mm. Teams working in isolation, um, complete silos. What well, is a clear example? The right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing, right? And then you are introducing uh, process inefficiencies and something that is more even critical. Um, you actually um, have the risk of data misalignment. Suddenly two teams are in theory reporting the same, come up with a different value. Sometimes it's because the source of the data that has been used is different, but sometimes actually the data is the, the source data is the same, but the the calculation approach, the methodology uh, applied is completely different. And as a result of having different teams dealing with data, you end up in a in a scenario where data is all over the place. You don't have a centralized repository where data is stored. Data can be in local drives. Data can be in different systems, data warehouses, dump all over the place, making it practically impossible for an organization to actually have a comprehensive view of the entire data set, right? Uh, that actually leads to, to the third main problem, which again, unfortunately, I've suffered it myself in, in a previous life, which is data users cannot, have, cannot access the data, either way, because they don't know where the data is or because they just don't know how to retrieve it. And then we rely on other teams or they rely on other teams uh, to provide the data, introducing even more inefficiencies to the process. And usually those teams that we that they rely to, to provide the data, we're talking about database administrators or we're talking about uh, IT uh, teams. And sometimes it's actually one or two individuals within those teams that actually have the all knowledge about where the data is. And obviously here we are completely losing track of what happened with the data on the sense that you're given data and then you run with it. But the, the audit trail of, of that data has been lost. You don't know if they applied a filter. You don't know if you've got the full picture. And inevitably you start uh, users now not trusting the data. Suddenly data integrity is being questioned. And this mm -hmm. is a very bad position for, for an organization to, to see themselves. And unfortunately, within asset management um, and all the reporting needs that asset managers have towards their customers, towards regulators, um, it is just becoming a bigger and bigger problem. Um, there was a, a study published by McKinsey no long ago, and um, they were talking about those organizations that for which users have access to the data in a more free manner, those organizations actually um, they're more dynamic, they're able to deliver change quicker and um, leave a, let alone the fact that uh, your employees are happier because mm. they actually, you're removing inefficiencies to the process. Mm. And lastly, something that I don't think organizations do realize how important it is or how much of a pain point this is, which is the, the cultural shift that is needed. How important it is if you're going to do something with your data to yeah. ensure that that understanding of you fixing the data all the way from the root cause 
is understood at by all levels of the organization. So the cultural shift here, I would say, is one of the main pain points, right? Sometimes, uh, no long ago, uh, I was uh, in an asset manager. I was talking to uh, the two people that actually do all the reports for regulators and clients, and they were doing it very manually. Mm. But to a certain extent, they were taking pride uh, of, of you not know, owning this process. And when you start talking about automation, when you start talking about removal of inefficiencies, um, individuals and teams can get very protective. Mm. So the cultural shift covers many different angles. Mm.